Hi guys, Peter here with you for a quick little chat for today. And it's come about because of, um, listen, some chats I had with friends over the weekend who, have, you know, they're asking us what we're into, what we're doing at the moment. And, and I told them about how we're starting to build out, build out the old workshop program that my father and I used to teach and help people to be able to use this at home, these techniques and strategies to help quieten the mind and to focus and be effective and they can learn to do it themselves and in their day-to-day -day life. And so many people have gone, oh yeah, is that like meditation techniques? And I'm like, oh, well, sort of. And they go, oh, well, yeah, I tried meditation once, couldn't do it. I know it's really good, but yeah, no, my mind's too overactive or I can't concentrate or I can't focus, it didn't work for me. And I said, well, let me tell you a few things and, and they're open. And I just talked through a little bit about the different brain states and about how, to do, how you can learn to deliberately slow your brain rhythms down, to use awareness and to use your physical body as a trigger to slow down the mind. And once you've learned how to inter, intermesh the two together, the two work beautifully and in harmony. And maybe the reason your mind wanders is purely the person who was guiding you was going too fast. If they had gone f or gone too slow, you gotta learn to change the timing. For a lot of people I find, it's actually the opposite to what you think. I think sometimes when people are learning to meditate, they go too slow. And by go going too slow, the, the brain is used to going, we get bombarded by things, social media and flicking around on the phone and on the computer and it jumps from one to the other, the other, a lot of rapid brain activity. So when you try and do a mindfulness exercise where you just slow down and they're asking you to kind of slowly focus on these different parts, people's brains are bing, 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 scatterbrain all over the place and their mind, brain, mind runs off all over the place. So. Roxanne and I have been working on this program to help people who aren't experts at meditation to be able to quite deliberately slow their brain rhythms down. The pattern of the training starts quite quick. It's relaxation exercises and breathing exercises that start at quite a rapid pace and they have little tricks and methodologies in them which get you to use your physical body and connect it with the brain and slow things down in your physical body before you start trying to think, slow things down in your mental body. And so many people find that they've just had amazing improvements in their ability to be able to connect and to go within and then all of a sudden meditation, mindfulness, these terms start working for them. So for those of you who have tried meditation before, think about perhaps if you, if you know it's good, and this video is not about talking about all the health benefits and mental health benefits of meditation. I presume that you're already into it, whether you call it mindfulness, inner awareness, uh, we've all got five levels of the brain. Our brains all work very similarly. There's things we can do to learn to use our brain more effectively. And, and then we talk about using it for improving your memory and your concentration and your focus and being sharp and at your best through the day. And then connecting to source as you learn to master and use your brain more effectively. But just in the beginning, guys, try looking for around on YouTube or looking around for information. I might even put a link below in the video to some stuff that we're doing with helping you to be able to, for the overactive mind person, slow your brain down and to be able to build the framework to start to have inner peace and quiet and awareness. And you might be thinking, yeah, I've tried that, I heard it's good, and I know this. So we're gonna come up with some great strategies to help you guys get the physical body and the mental body working together. That The clarity that you get is just unbelievable. Roxanne will talk in, a, in another clip about this mental work room that she's created for herself, so that as she goes down into the relaxed brain states, and your brain starts working in the two hemispheres of your brain come into balance. So you've got your logic and your creativity together. And instead of being a scatterbrain, when you have brain coherence, and instead of scatterbrain neurons, all the neurons fire together. You've got focus and clarity. Guys, it's just, it's amazing how well it works. And in the beginning, if there's a few challenges, look, it's like anything in life. 
all the things that are worthwhile are often difficult in the beginning, right? So you can learn how to do this. So stay in contact with us. We'll give you little tips and tricks along the way. Roxanne will run you through her little uh, workroom in, in another quip, uh, clip that we've got coming up. But once you get your mind starting to slow down quietly, you can use little creative strategies that we've built, like the mental workroom, like scenes from nature that you've been in before, using brain interaction with your physical body, and you'll have clarity in your thinking and you'll start to feel the surge and the benefits that come through a, rev, uh, a regular mindfulness and meditation type process. So I hope you find uh, the videos helpful. If you've got questions, feel free to fire us off some um, uh, a message down below and ask me questions. I'll do a video on it for you or I'll private message you back immediately and maybe do a video for you guys as well because we want to help you guys get all this working. And it's for the average person who's not necessarily, you know, a spiritual guru or done that much, but they understand that, hey, sometimes we worry, we get caught up in fear. Sometimes our brain can be our own worst enemy. We're going to help you guys to just use it a little bit more effectively. Great uh, chatting to you today. Keep in contact with us and uh, like and follow what we've got, what we've got putting out because we've got some great information and some tips coming up. See you later, guys.